To sew a rounded pocket, first I'm going to hem the top edge. So I fold it over um, good, toward the good side, over two centimeters, and I'm going to sew at the 15, just that short hem on the top. I just reverse at beginning and end that small seam. And then you're going to turn it over and do the same thing on the other side. So you just fold it over. I just eyeballed it, but you can measure it. Two centimeters. Sew it on the 15, reversing at both ends. Cut those threads. And then, before I flip it over, I'm going to sew a, a machine basting line. I'm going to change my stitch length to four. I'm going to line it up just inside the 15 because I, or, or the 5 eighths of an inch because I don't want it to show. I'm going to start to sew and I'm not going to reverse. So I'm sewing it about the 4 eighths inch line or about 1.2 centimeters. Up to the other side, stop. And go into the hem, cut your threads long and then sew it a second time, just a few millimeters away. You want to sew two machine basting lines very close together. Have those threads out of the way and you don't want the two lines to connect. They must be close but they must not touch. So this one will be a little bit closer to the 15 with the 5 8 inch line but not on it. And again, don't reverse, cut your threads long. And then you're going to pull those threads from one side and you're going to try to get the gather mainly in this rounded corner part. It gathers up a little bit so that when you go to press it, it'll turn in a nice rounded curve and it bunches where it's gathered but not on the outside. Do the same thing on the other side and then bring this to the steamer to press. I'm going to use the point presser to help me flip the corners of the top hem. Poke it out at a nice 90 degree angle. And I've pulled the machine basting and then I'm going to make sure that the first line that I sewed, or no, the second line that I sewed closest to the 15 or the 1.5 centimeter is as close to the edge as I can get it. So I keep the size of the pocket this, uh, as big as I'd like it. And then I just go and steam and press around that edge. And because I've gathered it, it makes it much easier to curve. Another tool you can use is this little pocket presser. You can put it inside and use this to help you uh, curve your pocket, but I do find the gathering way much more effective. Once you've pressed it on the one side and also press down your hem at the top, then press the good side. And make sure that to your eye it looks even, flat, no curves or anything, and when you're happy with the look of it, you can bring it back to your machine. So I've knotted the gathering threads and cut them off, and now I'm going to sew the hem at the top of the pocket. I line it up and I'm going to sew it on the 15, reverse at both ends, cut those threads, and now I'm ready to place my pocket on my garment. And most patterns will have placement lines. It'll tell you exactly where to place the pocket, which you can do, or you can pick a, a, another spot if you don't want it exactly where the pattern suggests it. But for my purposes, I'm just going to put it right in the middle of this square. So I'm going to pin it. And then if you like, you can switch to a clear plastic foot so you can see easier when you're sewing the pocket. Or you can leave the regular foot on. You're going to line it up and never start at the very top. Always start about a centimeter from the top. Take that first pin out. So a stitch or two, reverse back to the end, but not off the edge. And you're going to sew as close to the edge of that pocket as you can. And 
just top stitching it right at the edge. You may need to stop and pivot at times. Really take your time because it's always trickier sewing a curve. Whenever the pins are in the way, stop and take them out. To the other side and then reverse. Now one line is fine. If you're happy with the look of that, you can, you can leave it at one or you can choose to sew a second line, but just be aware if you do, you must be extremely neat because it's so very visible. And there you have a rounded pocket.